up to my bedroom and I decided I am not coming out. The room filled with light and love that I had never experienced. It was amazing because while this was going on I was actually downstairs going through John 6 and John 6 is a passage in, in the Bible where the the um, crowd had come to Jesus because they tasted of the bread. He'd just done the miracle, the feeding of the 5,000. So they're coming to Jesus. And what they're really saying is, hey, Jesus, give us a bit more of that bread, can you? And he, I'm paraphrasing now, but he sort of said, guys, you, you've, got, you've got it wrong. It's not about you. It's mm -hmm. about me and my glory. And he said, unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you've got no part of me. In other words, he's saying, you, you need to lay your life down for my will and my kingdom mm. and he said to them uh, does this offend you and that was the battle just going on with Jeannie you see this offense that, that hey he might ask you to do things that are painful but then he said this he said what will you say when you see me in my glory in other words when when you're when this is all over this age then we're in front of God and then we have eternity goes on forever and what are you going to say to me then? While I was reading that, Ginny was seeing his glory. Ginny was seeing his glory. And in that moment of seeing his glory, everything took on a new context. Even the death of our second child, Rebecca, our beautiful second child, Rebecca. Now she's seeing it. Hey, this is not about us. It's about him. She came downstairs and she, she's, she's right. She wasn't, it wasn't Ginny. And I said to Jean, what has happened to you? Because that wrestle, that spiritual wrestle inside had, had been released. Now we're still broken as human beings. Jesus was broken as a human being. But now it's not about us, it's all about him. Two very close friends saw Jeannie later that day, said the same thing. They could see something of the presence of God on Jeannie that she'd experienced in that moment in that room. And I was reading the same thing in John while this was going on. Unbelievable. My trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk. Visit our website, awakeningtogod.org, and partner with us in prayer, financial giving, and spreading the message.